गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन विल बी टूडे विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद अ न्यू चैप्टर लैंडस्केप्स ऑफ द सोल लैंडस्केप्स ऑफ द सोल इज द चैप्टर रिटन बाय नताली ट्रोवरे इन दिस चैप्टर द राइटर डिस्टिंग्विशेस बिटवीन टू टाइप्स ऑफ आर्ट फॉर्म्स शी इवन टेल्स अस विद व्हाट पर्सपेक्टिव द पेंटर हैज ड्रॉन दोज पेंटिंग्स and what does the painter accepts from his viewers right so we'll be discussing about two kinds of art forms the chinese art form and the european art form in european in in european european art form the painter wishes that the viewers will see the painting according to his point of view with the perspective the painter has drawn the painting the viewers should view the painting according to that perspective if we talk about the chinese art form the chinese art form wants its viewers to you know to uh, to view the painting from any angle and they can imagine uh, and they uh, and uh, you know it opens the door for their imagination means the uh, the painter has left the doors of imaginations opened in case of chinese art form the viewer can view it the way it wants right the viewer have the freedom of viewing the painting the way they want and they can enter into the deep ocean of imagination so written by natali trovery the chapter is about how different the chinese art form is from the european art form the writer uses two stories to make a contrast european art is about reproducing an actual view whereas chinese art is not about is not is about not creating a real landscape european art is an artist way to let viewers show exactly what he wants them to see in the landscape chinese art is the artist spiritual and inner voice where you can travel from any point and let the viewers create a path for their imagination in this chapter the writer contrast two forms of art chinese and european art by using two different stories in china during the 8th century the tang emperor zhuangzong commissioned a painter means uh, in 8th century the emperor zhuangzong he commissioned a painter named wu daozi to decorate a wall in in his palace with a beautiful painting upon seeing the wall upon seeing the wall painting the emperor started noticing the outer appearance of the painting but the painter drew his attention to a cave at the roof of the mountain the painter told the emperor that he would take him inside the painter entered the cave and the entrance closed behind him as soon as the painter clapped his hand the painting on the wall was gone and so was the painter so it's a story which was set in 8th century where an emperor zhuangzong commissioned a painter named wu daozi to decorate a wall in his palace the painter drew a beautiful painting right and when emperor saw the painting he began admiring the painting he was only admiring the outer you know the, uh, the the outer view of the painting he but he didn't knew what was hidden inside the pain uh, the emperor who was busy admiring the outer look of the painting right the painter drew his attention to what was hidden in the imagination the painter drew his attention towards a cave at the top of the mountain right as soon as he opened the door of the cap and clapped the door closed the painting it vanished from the wall and so was the painter neither the painter was seen again nor was the painting both the painter and the painting was gone in another story 
a painter wouldn't draw an eye of a dragon as he feared that the dragon would fly out of the painting in another story to represent a european art form a master blacksmith he falls in love with the painter's daughter but the painter uh, painter but, uh, but the painter wanted his daughter to marry someone who belonged to his own profession the blacksmith sneaked into his painting studio and painted a fly on the painter's latest panel the fly seemed so real that the painter tried to hit it first before realizing it was the painting the painter accepted him as a trainee in his studio the blacksmith married the painter's daughter and later became one of the famous painters of his time means the painting was so real that he could not differentiate between a real fly and a and the painting of the fly the painting was meant you no know, it was drawn with such a reality it looked so real these stories revealed as to how art form is believed to be followed in two different regions of the world in europe an artist wants viewer to see a real viewpoint by borrowing his eyes means in europe a restriction is imposed you can view the painting only with the viewer's point of view right doors of imaginations are not opened the painting is real the painting looks so real right but there is no space for imagination why because it is drawn with the perspective that you can see it according to viewer's point of view only then you will be and you will be able to appreciate that art if we talk about the chinese form what happens let's see whereas in china the artist doesn't paint a real one but uses his inner and spiritual voice to create an abstract piece the viewer can enter the painting from any point and can travel according to his own imagination the artist wants the viewer to enter his mind and create a path path of his own means the doors of iman- imagination the door of creativity is left open right you need not to see it from the pers- you need not to see it with the perspective with which the painter has drawn it the painter has opened the door for imagination enter the painting from any point view it from any point and create Uh, create your own path of creativity that is what chinese painting is like right so the concept this concept is called shan shui which means mountain water when they are used together they make the world they make the word landscape so this was the summary of the chapter right uh, different stories have been used just to bring a contrast between the two art forms the european art form and the chinese art form so that you people are able to distinguish what actually lies in the european art and what actually lies in the chinese art now class what you will do is you will thoroughly go through the chapter mark down hard words word meanings pronunciation the procedure which you have to follow and for your homework you will thoroughly read it and draw the background theme of the chapter right and if possible create dialogue box also right or you can draw the story board for the chapter homework you will share positively by tomorrow thank you